Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, this is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today, we are once again in Stain City with your favorite tour guard, Marusha. Now, we are inside a top billing contemporary family entertainer's home. Before we get started, quick specs on the house. Six bed, six and a half bath, four garages, features, bar, amazing stuff. Marusha, please. Thank you very much. I thought you were going to tell the audience that you have not shrunk, I've grown taller. <laughs> We have the most amazing entrance here. So I just wanted to point out to it, we have a triple step entrance and not only just keep the, the viewer engaged whilst going in, but it also points out to the gorgeous quartz um, uh, texture of the entrance, as well as draws the eye to the enclosed courtyard. And from the word go, we see the use of different elements and different textures throughout the house. We've got the water, which is an absolute must for any contemporary uh, modern Feng Shui home. We have the wood, we have a lot of steel, and whilst steel is modern, it also makes this home very soft because of the choice of charcoal and black. We have this amazing handmade solid wood swing doors and you can see again they've put some steel in the door and they've just made them solid and beautiful to enjoy whilst opening and closing for your guests. And I don't know if you noticed the standing lights. Obviously it's lunchtime today so it's difficult to see but these lights will light your way into this family home. So your guests will be wowed from the entrance. And I don't know if I should be throwing brand names, but it feels like you're walking into Wayland's here. The quality of the furniture, the design, everything is to showcase not only the home, but also your art pieces and the beauty of the space. We see the garden from all sides. So again, stunning, custom-made wall, glass and steel windows. And you'll see this element repeating throughout the house but with different look and feel everywhere. So this glass was, for example, squares. You will see a lot of uh, rectangles as well and so on. We're now walking into the entrance, or sorry, we through the entrance and we're into the living spaces. And this is one of several living spaces that we're into. So you'll see here we have, um, the family has um, designed the space to have multiple seating areas, I imagine, maybe a couple um, uh, teenagers sitting on the one side and um, uh, the uh, parents sitting on the other side around the gas fireplace, having a chat, and then moving on to this stunning, once again, custom-made dining room uh, table. And you'll see they have the high chairs here because the idea is you need to feel comfortable from the entrance of this home. So yes, it is luxurious. Yes, it is the absolutely top end quality you can possibly imagine, but it also invites you to take your shoes off, walk around barefoot on these stunning oak engineered wood floors that are throughout the home and just enjoy your time with your friends and family. Also, whilst walking around this uh, dining room table, you will notice the space under the staircase. And we'll talk a little bit more about the staircase, but we, while we are at it, it's a floating suspended staircase. So the, these massive oak wood pieces held by, again, the steel, black steel, but yet it feels warm. It is a really amazing choice of materials here. The space here, again, to display your family photos, as well as your artwork with some select lighting to showcase what you're looking at. And then one of many courtyards, straight from your dining room, go out onto um, the, uh, the courtyard. It's enclosed on all sides, so it is nice and private, no wind, and you can, from there, straight into the pool area. But we'll go there in a minute. We're now entering the kitchen space. And it is not in your face. It's very subtle. It's all in white with touches of wood again. The cupboards, you don't even see them, but there are so many. And all the doors, of course, soft close. You have cupboards closing all your bits and bobs. You have plenty of drawer space uh, throughout the kitchen. And I absolutely adore 
how many drawers they've put in here for all your pots and pans and all your crockery and everything else is soft touch, open, close and tuck away anything unsightly. The most amazing cooker, I've just bought one similar to this one. This is the best brand you can absolutely get. And Sue, if you're listening, Ilve, if anyone wants to know more, we'll let you know. <laughs> it is a gorgeous, gorgeous cooker. This alone is worth buying the house for, <laughs> but let's see more. We've got, uh, of course, the waterfall countertops. And this um, uh, basin here is also made out of the same Caesar stone material. And once again, they've introduced a bit of the oak here, and it is on the uh, breakfast nook area. And when I say breakfast nook, it's a full on four seater table so the family can enjoy breakfast or quick lunches there. And let's not forget one of the coolest features. It's a walk-in cold room. Hence it's cool, did you get it? <laughs> and um, right around the corner, the scullery, uh, what is very unique here, which is why this home is so unique in every single aspect, they've thought about the space to make it pretty and pleasant to enjoy. Massive scullery, separate laundry room, separate walk-in pantry, and yet another courtyard. So if um, you want to spend some time ironing, you can just enjoy nice greenery there. And all the features of this home in terms of your generator and um, all the eco-friendly features are tucked away nicely outside, as well as there is a domestic room uh, there, quite a spacious one, and you've got the four garages as well. So everything tucked away and inside the house, it is just picture perfect designer dream home. What I love here is this wide corridor straight from the kitchen and from your dining room leads you to yet another entertainment space. And this entertainment space is my absolute favorite. Solid built-in bar greets you with built-in fridges on the one side. You've got your ice maker, you've got the fridges. Again, plenty of cupboard space here. So anything I would imagine to do with drinking or sipping on cool drink, you'll find it in here. Amazing light fittings again, hanging suspended above the bar area, just to highlight the gin and tonics that you are having or the cool drinks. Again, this is another cold room. So truly beautiful wine cellar. Plenty of space to stack away all your uh, drinks, your bottles, as well as then also all the automation is stacked, tucked away there in a nice uh, darkened cabinet out of the way. And I don't know if you noticed, but the light was uh, automatic. As you open the doors, light goes on. Very nice guest toilet, again in blacks and uh, wood. Very stylish. Even the actual basin and the toilet are in black and it just gives it another element of luxury and uh, high-end finishes. What is so unique about this room is that you have the stack doors on both sides of the room. So we are on a hot summer day today. It is extremely hot, yet you feel the breeze on both sides. And at the same time, the extremely high ceilings just gives this impression of a lot of space, a lot of air and um, a beautiful space to be sitting in. And I don't know if I can count how many of your friends you can put around here, but it is absolutely many, probably 20 we can fit easily to watch TV, but that's not all. We also have an automated, which I couldn't find now, a remote control, which at the click of a button will drop a, a beautiful screen, proje uh, uh, screen in front of you and the projector, and you get to watch movies in the comfort of your own home and with all these blackout curtains closed so it's completely dark for uh, your movie nights or days even. And otherwise, the rest of the day, everything is nice and open. Everything is automated here. You can have your house um, set up that your lights and your curtains open and close 
at a certain time of the day, so you don't have to worry about walking around. What is interesting in this room is that you have the same composite quartz flooring, and I don't know if it is easy to see, but it is completely non-slip. The idea being that this is where you entertain and this is where your family spends all their time in. So from the pool, they can run straight in here. From the garden, they can run straight in here and no slip and very low maintenance flooring. What we've now just done is we've walked out onto one of the courtyard garden spaces of this garden. And I absolutely love what this owner has done. This house is facing a green belt. Everything that you see around you is a Stain City green belt area. And they've used their part of the garden, but they have not fenced it off. So the impression you get is of having this absolutely endless, green, beautiful park that is straight from your cinema room. And it is absolutely amazing. You don't get this anywhere. People pay millions and millions and millions to have space like this. You can see your pool. It's of course fenced away for security and all the trees that you see around you, indigenous trees. So they're nice and green throughout the year. And the beauty of it is they're maintained by Stain City. So you don't even have to worry about that. Yet another entertainment space set up here with this uh, gorgeous solid uh, stone table and another soft seating area for your boma and the owners have agreed to leave this gorgeous pizza oven behind simply because it is too heavy to carry anywhere else and also because it fits so beautifully in the space they want people to enjoy it as well. Use of the wood you'll see also from outside there's some wood cladding on the house gives it this zen feeling very close to nature and at the same time super luxurious. And I suggest we walk in from this side and we enter back into the uh, formal lounge area. Private, this is the private garden space. Wooden decking throughout, massive long pool. I will be very comfortable to do my uh, swimming training here. If I was to measure it easily, more than 16 meters, I would probably guess 16 to 18 meters length, so good for training. And we're now back into the lounge area. If you remember, we had two lounge spaces from entrance, but of course you can arrange your furniture whichever way you like. Very nice thing they've done here is they've built this cupboard space here where you can have another little mini bar area with this massive sliding door. Massive, but very easy to slide. And you've got a hidden sink here, basin to wash and also to pack away some cool drinks, some bottles and so on and enjoy the space while you're sitting here and while you're enjoying the absolutely stunning garden. we are just taking the view. You're walking on the same wood floors, the majority of the house. You'll find the same engineered wood, oak wood floors. They're soft, they're warm and they are beautiful to look at and to touch. And walking through here, the second lounge area, just take a look at this fireplace and imagine sitting around it in the evenings, especially winter time. I think you don't want to imagine it right now in summer, but <laughs> when it is cold, you will absolutely love it. And it has to be said, the house also has air conditioning throughout. So you can cool and heat up your space uh, whenever you want to at the click of a button. What we've got on the ground floor here is the possibly six bedroom or uh, currently used as one of your uh, several study areas. And it's a massive space. I don't know if you saw as we walked in, the light came on. And at the same time, as we walked in, there was a lot of cupboard space on our um, left hand side. And here we've got built in, again, solid wood uh, cabinets uh, because the owners are using it as a study but it is a massive room. So if uh, I, I spoke to someone yesterday, they said, where would the gogo stay? Well, the gogo will absolutely love it here because it is on the ground floor. They can enter straight from the garage. They have a lot of cupboard space, space for a um, um, king size bed and an ensuite shower and toilet with the same uh, composite floors that we saw elsewhere, the quartz floors, and it's non-slip, 
it's really pleasant to have tucked away uh, private away from uh, the main entrance so anyone can stay here for a long time and enjoy it let's take the staircase I love touching wallpaper so here we've got snake skin hopefully not the real thing but absolutely gorgeous to the touch so really pleasant uh, surprise an additional texture we're walking up like I said, those suspended floating staircase in solid oak. And uh, you have the up lights showing you the way. And another earthy choice of uh, chandelier. Different shapes, really stunning. And again, highlighting all the textures that they've selected in this house. Upstairs, we're going to find five bedrooms. One more very nice use of the steel. What a cool way to have your balustrade. It's almost invisible. But I imagine kids enjoying playing here and trying to squeeze through, but cannot. So let's start bedroom number one of five. Each bedroom is unique. So each bedroom, anyone can fight over it. All the bedrooms have those awesome barnyard style sliding doors. So not a lot of space is taken with flapping doors. They just stack away and then you're into the space. Every single bedroom is ensuite. This one is ensuite with a full bathroom, plenty of cupboard space, massive high ceilings. Throughout the house, that's what you see. High ceilings, volume, and luxury. A little walk-in closet. It's another nice, cute feature of this specific room. And then watch the mirror or just do a selfie in this stunning bathroom in whites and shades of gray. This one is a full bathroom with a double shower. And you see, this is one of the kids' bathrooms, but massive rain shower, luxury throughout the space. It has to be said that the owners are renowned builders, one of the most uh, top uh, searched for builders in the country. So they built amazing quality homes. I promised to give you a bit of a workout. So here we are, we're climbing now up. This is now the secret level, uh, the rooftop garden. And uh, the, the unique feature of this specific bedroom is that it's the only one that has access to this little, um, I call it the yoga courtyard. So you can do your morning um, welcoming of the sun here. And then later on, you can... <laughs> Is it funny? No, it's not. I think it's beautiful and tranquil. And then you climb up the stairs onto the top uh, rooftop garden. There's a boma there as well. Invite all your friends here and just spend the whole night away. Just don't make too much noise because there are rules in Stain City about noise. Uh, we didn't um, uh, point it out here, but I'll point it out in the next bedroom that we also have those external sliding blinds that can control the sun into your room. Beautiful white corridors. You see all the ducted air conditioning and every room can control their own uh, temperatures. And we're now into room number two. And um, it, is, it does have a king size massive bed and still has space for a little um, sitting area. Another walk-in closet here and um, another ensuite full bathroom with a bath and a shower. A nice feature maybe I will point out to this room. This is one of the coziest rooms. So it's very private and very quiet. So a really nice feature here. We have the mosquito netting on all the opening windows. And I promise you I'll appreciate that so much at the moment. Then these absolutely stunning windows just slide open at the touch of one finger. And then you've got these massive panels that you can move left and right to control the amount of sun you get in your room and also for additional privacy. And off we go. We have now so far seen two bedrooms upstairs and the one downstairs currently used as a study. We're now heading towards bedroom number three. This I would say is probably the smallest one of the lot. And even though I'm saying that, it's still is big enough for a king size bed, massive cupboard space, and another ensuite luxurious bathroom. So I call this the sleepover room. When your buddies come over here, 
you can fit four or five of them in this room and they can all enjoy their space. And of course, be impressed by the quality of the bathroom they offered. And look at the, the, the awesome choices of cabinetry and shelving to display some of uh, your artwork and uh, you know, your bits and bobs in the bathroom. Everything just works so nicely in this house. I wish if anyone was to buy it, to buy everything with it because you just feel the joy and the pleasure in this space. We've now just walked into the pyjama lounge upstairs. So we've seen multiple living spaces downstairs. Now we've seen the pyjama lounge upstairs. And again, this is uh, the same stunning window we saw downstairs at the entrance hall with those uh, square um, windows with the square frame. It's really beautiful, very dramatic look with the black frame and the greenery of the garden outside. We've now walked through into the study upstairs. So we had the six bedroom or the study downstairs. This is the upstairs study, one, two, three, three desks here, plenty of cupboards, specially designed to be a study, but a very big room. So really spacious, the whole family can congregate. And if they promise to be quiet, they can all do their work in here. Bedroom number four, this is the bedroom everyone would fight over. So if you have more than one children, this is the bedroom you can use to make them behave. It has the most amazing loft space upstairs that is currently set up for more sleeping areas. You can just see this family welcomes their kids to bring as many guests as possible. And Xavier, you're gonna have to climb up there and have a look again. It was your workout day today. Stunning, hey? I think if I was to challenge my kids, we can fit at least 10 to sleep down there. You can see how high the ceiling is if you can fit two rooms in the space. It really is probably, I don't know, five meters at least. So you can uh, fit double bedroom in the space. Aircon again, this room has a stunning balcony. And this balcony gives you an amazing view of um, not only staying city, but uh, as far as the eye can see, I'm actually looking at Santon at the moment. So on a clear day, you have the best view. You can, of course, welcome your buddies straight from here because you look down onto the entrance. You can uh, show them how amazing your room is. And then you still have another indoor, outdoor style gym area that is private and unique, unique to this room as well. And it also has the same panels we spoke about. You literally push them open or closed and control how much sun you get. And of course, another full bathroom. Well, I really love what they've done with each bedroom. I don't know if you noticed with one of them, there was the wallpaper. Here you have amazing graffiti. My 15 year old, will be very good for a very long time if I promised him to stay in a room like this. Look at this graffiti wall. Of course, custom designed and painted for the proud owner of this room. Look at the light fittings. Again, in line with the rest of the style of this specific room and every room is unique in its own way. Great. How many bedrooms have we counted? Let's not forget the most important one. Look at this massive barn door. Isn't it just such a pleasure? You just want to roll it left and right, you know, just to calm yourself before going into bed. We're walking again on the same oak floors and it is the best floors to have in a bedroom. And the bedroom is designed to have the bed facing your green belt. So from your bed, you're just looking at the marvelous trees in front of you, completely private. Of course, also with the mosquito nets, with plenty, plenty cupboards. I don't know if uh, one can count how many doors there are here, but if I was to challenge someone to fill in this cupboard space, then they've done very well if they manage that. Look at the stunning chandelier. Another super high ceiling and a earthy, solid chandelier just uh, to ground you 
in, uh, in this tranquil space. This uh, headboard is also custom designed and another very nice light fittings that you can direct uh, to whichever way you're reading. It's nice and soft to the touch. It's exceptionally wide, so it goes all the way behind uh, the side tables. And the back of the headboard very cleverly is being designed into cupboard space again. So even more cupboard space to put all your shoes and everything else you want to stack in here. The bathroom here has also made use of this deep charcoal, almost black color that we're seeing in so many places. And yet it doesn't feel dark at all. Luxurious bath. You just want to sit in here and forget the worries of the day. Stunning double basin. Of course, a double shower with a little seat on the side, as well as a hand shower. It feels like this uh, house belongs in a showroom of the most top-end furniture, designer furniture store. And of course, we can't have a house that uh, I call a Zen house without an outdoor shower. So what's very clever here is look at these panels. We just literally push it a little bit. You're looking at the trees. You have your outdoor shower and close the panel or make friends with your neighbors. <laughs> And this is probably the just of the house. There is so much to see and to enjoy. We can walk ourselves back towards the living space. But just to recap, it is a smart house. At the click of a button, you turn lights on, you turn air con, you, uh, of course, turn all your blinds and your curtains, which are custom built and belong with the house. And you have such unique design in each and every single room that um, Every person who has a bedroom of their own here will be totally proud to welcome their friends into. But to me, the living space absolutely makes this home. I see a lot of luxury homes and in, on many occasions I feel it's amazing for a magazine, but I wonder if it will be warm and cozy to live in. This is amazing for a magazine. It is absolutely amazing to spend time into. And I would think it will be the most happiest home for someone to live in. And I can actually say the family has been very happy here. You can feel it. It was built to make you happy and to make you comfortable. Are we heading for the bar area? Did you check the champagne? It would be perfect on a hot day, hey? I wonder if they'll notice if there's a bottle missing. All the furniture, soft and inviting. You just want to sit, take in your space, and be a super proud owner and host of many parties. Gorgeous. Can you see tinted windows as well? So totally private bedrooms. We Looking at the master bedroom, but yet you see absolutely nothing inside. Stunning indeed. Marusha, wow. Very impressive. It's been a while since we've seen this type of level of entertaining in a, in a single house. Um, very, very impressive. Guys, um, that's your rooftop where you were that's earlier right. on. Yep. And can you see from your rooftop, you refuse to go all the way. But if you are right on top, you'll see the boma on top as well. And you're just looking at the trees. Stunning, stunning, stunning. As always, thank you for your time. Um, Marusha's details, email, phone number will be below this video, both on YouTube as well as Instagram. Make sure to subscribe Luxury Living Properties as well as Luxury Homes Johannesburg on YouTube. Guys, so we believe that about 80% of you guys watching this actually aren't subscribed. Shame, shame, shame. Don't miss out on the next one. Have an awesome afternoon.